What is up guys, it's Ghost Robo, and all I can hear is whispers because everyone is calling my name, they're saying Isaac, 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 and I say, shut up, I'm trying to get off this horrid ship covered in blue goo and E.T. things and footprints, and I guess we gotta go into this room to go into that room, but we'll run down here first. Last episode was an episode all about survival and crazy battles. Um, it took us quite a while to get past that room, but we did it with your help. Pulled out some Earth Energy partnership and beat them all. Uh oh. about to happen uh, she's gonna like kill herself or something here injecting badness into her blood and the picture is getting foggy and why are we watching this and she's gone whoa okay so last episode survival this episode escape our goal with the crazy music and then don't touch sign don't touch is to escape the Ishimura and somehow survive our way to chapter 11 because chapter 10 has been all sorts of creepy uh oh and the lights got awesome good deal we like that right we like lights going out nah. and music going do everything's being scary and creepy what awaits us behind this door nothing more blue where do we have to go through there okay do 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 Ishimura, you're a creeper. I don't like you. I want to be back on the sprawl with Ellie and Strauss, who's going crazy and biting her hand and losing his mind and poking his eye and doing all sorts of crazy things with a screwdriver. All right. To the chemical research lab we go. More bad things await us. I didn't realize we'd be on the ship for this long. I thought it'd be nice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Ladder block. I thought it would just be a nice little quick detour. I didn't realize it'd be like, oh, come and stay a while. I really didn't want to stay a while. I really hate this place. Dead Space 1, I was much more afraid of than Dead Space 2. I don't know why. I really don't. But I was. I had a hard time playing Dead Space 1. I really did. After about the first hour or so, um, I really just struggled playing that game. I don't... I don't and I, I can't really tell you why. It just got to me way more than this game. Although this game is a lot more that could get to you. Like, there's a lot more mental freakouts in this game than there were in Dead Space 1. But this one just bothers me to, or that one rather, Dead Space 1 just bothered me far more than this guy. I don't know why. Maybe it's some used to it. Oh, and of course, Nick. Hello, buddy. Whoa. Hello, buddy. I need to shoot your eyes out and your tentacles off. Ah, grab ya. Good grab, Isaac. I don't need credits. We don't need money when we're trying to survive, but whatever. You give us money. I guess we'll take it. Okay. And there's all sorts of electrical things going crazy. Shift this bad boy over. Make our way across. And there's a big electrical vortex of doom. What is... Uh-oh, and here come Necromorphs. Are they going to get zap? Zap. Yeah. Okay, give us that. Uh-oh, is there something right here? Whoa. Whoa, dude. How, how did you get here? Where did you come from? That wasn't very nice at all. Jerk move. Jerk move. Jerk move. Okay, are they all dead down there? I feel like that one's playing dead over there. Maybe not. Maybe it really is dead. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Plasma energy. Good. I like that we can... I like our kinesis is so strong and so powerful we can just zap things from anywhere. How are we going to get through that? I remember all of this from Dead Space 1. I think it's interesting that they're doing all these callbacks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's a fish monster, scorpion monster, which probably turns sideways and stasis him and miss and waste our stasis. And we're wasting so much ammo on this guy, but I'm panicking and of course I'm going to tell him back. All right. Uh-oh. What is it? It's another one. What do you call these guys? 
bad guys that hate us. Ugh. Come on. I want to ripper you. Come on, let me ripper you. Pull out your ripper blade and rip this guy up. God. And we die. Really? I probably shouldn't be using that ripper blade. I like using the gun. It's a lot of fun, but it's bad for me because it forces me to get up close and personal. And since I've had it, I've taken a lot more damage than I probably should because you just want to be like, and just rip everyone up. And now we have to do this section again. We'll run through it quickly. Um, but I, I, I really should probably be just doing the whole shooty shoot bit. And I've got the force gun and the uh, the ripper at the same time, which probably isn't a good combination because they're both kind of weird extra guns, you know, that aren't necessarily the best. And I, I probably should be using something else besides them. But that's the course of action I decided to take. And so that's what we got to deal with. But at the next store, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to... Oh, that was a dumb use of that health pack because I had full health. Stupid, Isaac. I'm definitely going to be swapping one of them out. Force gun and ripper blade. Maybe I'll keep the ripper just because it's unique in its ability to uh, deal significant damage at close range. But I'm probably going to get rid of this force gun. I don't know. I just... It, it's not all that helpful. And... Uh, I'm not the biggest fan. Okay, here's this guy. Stasis you in midair. Turn sideways. Turn the thing and take off your tail. And then you're dead. All right. That was successful. And we know there's going to be more. So... Has that guy got zapped yet? Where are the other ones? They come in through there, right? We have some more stasis. So we'll cargo lift down with full health. we got 14 shots left. Stasis you. You jerk. Take off the tail. Take off the tail. And now you're dead, because you suck, and we win. There's more, though. I hear more. There's another one. Stasis. Can we stasis him, please? Yes. All right. Take you out. We have five shots left. Die, die, die. Yes. And we acquire more shots. So that's good. Or no, I don't want that. I want like, these shots. Okay, so we got to unpower this. Come on. There. No. Come on. Pull out. Get you out of there. There we go. Okay. So, now we gotta make our way across the room through the electrical surge. I'd still be, like, nervous if I was Isaac. Like, the fact that this is all still going on there. Oh, God. And, of course, good reason to be nervous. The guy pops right behind us, and we get him with a quick shot. Uh-oh, there's more. Where are they? Here it comes. A fast dude. A fast dude. Oh, God. Two guys. Two guys. Two guys. Two guys. Two guys. What are we gonna do? Ripper. Oh, God. We got him. We got one. And there's another. Stasis. Now we'll rip. Stasis and rip. Uh, please die. Go away, you stupid thing. I hate those scorpions. You'd think they're like the easiest enemies in the game, but they're really like one of the most annoying. Come on. You stupid goon. I need to... I'm just going to plasma cutter him. Plasma or pulse rifle into hell and back. Die. Go away. Yes. Oh, we have so little health and no health. Man, the battles are really intense on the Ishimura. It's like they want to make you remember how scary Dead Space 1 was by placing the toughest battles here in Chapter 10. And thank you guys for letting me know about the blue goo that is blood and not blue paint or whatever craziness I thought it was in the last episode. Trying to gather some ammo here, some credits. Om nom nom. We got a little bit of health back in the yellow. The whispers are going crazy. My ears are overloaded with tiny talking inside my brain. Reload all our guns here. Make sure we got some... Decent ammo. We got a little bit of everything. No health packs, no stasis packs, so let's make our way across this scary electric field. Hopefully we don't get zapped on! Ah, we made it across. Alright, more blue blood everywhere scribbled on the walls. How much blood was there? Power node room. Good deal, we'll enter. A blue blood... Oh, these rooms look really cool. Like, the graphical aesthetic of the purples and the pinks and the blues and the whites. Awesome, awesome, awesome looking. Thank you, health packs. Always a good deal inside these storage rooms. What I wonder is, who left all this stuff here? Like, it surely wasn't Isaac the first time around. So who just said, Bleh, we're gonna throw all this stuff in this storage closet. Health packs and ammo and weapons and stasis. Throw them in this room and make them useful for somebody else. Ugh! Oh, well, that's not a very good bonus. We, we spent a whole power node to get in here. Now we get some creepy crawly guys on the ground in a box with a jerk. What's this? A, a, a fax machine? A scanner? I don't know. That's a lot of blood. Oh my god, it's gross, and they wrote all these weird things. I don't know, is it really blood? Were they able to make all that blood that crazy and cool? And that's like, right that fine? I don't know. It's very creepy and weird. I guess we'll enter this unlocked door. 
make our way onwards into more insanity. Follow the blue line in the blue room. Is our blue line made of blood? No, that can't be. We can't have blood coming out of our hand and then extending across the room. We'll take the stasis recharge. That must mean a battle is afoot. What awaits us in the next blue room? So many blue rooms. Can't we get a different color? How about a red room or a yellow room? Or a green room or a pink room or something a little bit prettier. Actually, it's really pretty. This is this is probably my... Uh-oh. Okay, Nicole is just absolutely morbid. Wearing her bloodied face, stalking for more victims? That's just gross. I don't want to wear anyone's face. I mean, I, I barely want to wear Isaac's ugly mug, let alone Nicole's bloodied face. She's disgusting. She's a gross girl. Isaac, you can do much better than that. Another blue room. Where are the different colors? No different colors. I'd like to see, like, a neon room or a crazy insanity multicolored room. But what I was saying before, Nicole had to so rudely interrupt is that I think it's it's really pretty evacuate this area immediately I think this is one of the prettiest segments of the game if you can call dead space pretty a save station dear lord thank you for saving us save station I love you we must use you to your full capacity here in chapter 10 all right and so we continue from the save point with no extra health we gotta find a store we really need a store I need oh, there's a store please work store yes it's a store and it's in working order, which is always grand. Shop. Let's buy some stuff like a health pack. And let's trade out one of these guns. Um, hmm. Force energy, contact energy. What, what else do we have in our back pocket that we could use? The javelin gun? I don't really have any spears, though. I'm going to go line gun. Oh, I do have a lot of javelin spears. Let's go javelin gun. So we'll trade out the force gun. But we have a lot of force ammo. Uh... That's all right. Force gun, I'm going to have to move you in, in favor of the javelin gun because we have a lot of spears. We got a lot. We got a lot in here. Um, and so we need to take that. Where is it? The, this javelin gun. Did I take it already? Uh, uh, inventory. No. Okay. So here is the... Where is it? No. We want that with us. We want these with us. And the javelin gun. There we go. Okay. And we have more money, so I think we'll buy one more health pack, because health is what has been killing us. No, I don't want to... What am I doing? I don't want to sell. I need to shop. There we go. Okay. So. We've gotten more javelin gun goodies. There's ripper blades and javelin spears. We have a handful. I'll remember the alt fire this time. I will remember it. Okay, we gotta go that way. Here's a little box. Let's pop him open. Renets. Open the door, what do you get? Another long hallway, just what we need. And we gotta walk to the end of it. A long, dark room awaits Isaac. Are we at the bridge yet, really? I mean, we gotta get these gravity tethers activated. Ooh, zero gravity. Very nice. Will there be any bad guys in zero gravity? Probably. Knowing how things have been going, probably, right? Let's pull out the javelin spears once more. Alright, let's fly up. Flying in the Ishimura. It's a flying ship and we're flying in it. So Nicole is really tormenting us, and Isaac's trying to beat her as we make our way to the bridge, I guess. Things are screaming. Oh, it's these guys. Okay. One javelin spear to the head, two javelin spears to the head, and you're dead. No? Yes. Dead. Okay. So, let's see if we can get any ammo back out of this guy. I wish you could kind of pull your javelin spears out of them and reuse them. That would be kind of a cool mechanic. Um, but it's not possible. I like how we're just, like, floating through space and aiming. Because Isaac is such a goon. Uh oh, there's another one. Here it is. Hello. 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 Stop running. Ugh. We got hit. Don't fire at us. You're dead. Where is this one firing from? Way down there? Okay. Oh, there's way more. 
Load and fire. We gotta keep kind of moving sideways and diagonal. This guy isn't dead. Really? I thought we got that one. I guess there's a bunch of them. A bunch in this room. Where's that guy? Here he is. Hello. And let's sideways spin. Kind of doing some great uh, sidestepping of these dudes. We haven't gotten hit for a while. Good work. Okay. Turn sideways and hit this guy. Take out him. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Okay. I think he's done for. Okay. And there's another one. Where? Where is it? No? Maybe not. I heard noises. It's gonna be a slightly longer episode. And as we gotta get through this zero-G, I can't just leave you guys hanging here in zero-G. That wouldn't be very nice. You'd just be stuck floating and you couldn't go anywhere. You'd just be stuck here until the next episode with nothing to do. And it'd be all my fault. So I, I gotta finish this off. I gotta at least get you out of this hallway before we leave. Alright, some more credits, I think. No, plasma energy. Okay, that's good. Alright, where are we going? Going up, and there's definitely more guys up here. I just can't see them yet. Orientate yourself to the ground, Isaac. Come on, there we go. Where are the other dudes? I hear them crying. Just don't see them. Unless it's Isaac losing his mind. Hmm. Anybody in here? There's something screaming, I just can't find it. Open up. Or not? Okay. Guess we gotta land. Land. Uh, all right, credits, credits. All right, and guys, before we enter this door, I'm gonna wrap this episode up. I want to say thank you very much for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through the long and treacherous Ishimura. I really appreciate it. But until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>